Alright, hello again. Let's do another review. I recently picked up a, let's see, I'll let's break it out and see. New carry gun. This is a pair of Ordnix P10. I keep wanting to call it a D10. It is a pair of Ordnix, little 1911 double stack in 40. This is a Canadian model before Remington bought them out and made them all in the U.S. I've heard mixed reviews of these and seen a couple of videos, but I don't care. I wanted to buy it for myself and just work the bugs out. It feels wonderful in your hand. It really does. It's got a little meteor grip because it's a double stack and comes with the extra little finger tang magazine. So it, it's not, if you're used to carrying a full size gun or, you know, a double stack Glock, it's nothing that's going to be unfamiliar to you. It's very snappy. I was surprised when I shot it. It was it was very snappy. That's what that's kind of what I was looking for. A quick follow-up shot without having to go down to my nine mil. I was just looking for other options. And I'm not gonna pass up a good deal on a gunshot. It's not gonna happen. Um some weird things I've noticed about it. Actually, I've never seen this. Of course I'm not, you know, not fucking Mr. Remington. So, but in your takedown pin, when, when I took it down to clean it, and this thing is, yeah, it's a little too much of a But if you can see, let me see if I can get some sunlight. See that gap in the takedown pin slot? I'm trying to find out whether that's supposed to be there or not. Because I have heard about the aluminum lower frames um, actually cracking at the takedown pin area. The metal, aluminum. Or steel, aluminum. <laughs> One's gonna take out the other. I haven't, uh, I haven't experienced any problems so far. I only put about a hundred rounds through it at the range, but both surfaces are the same black parkerized finish, and it's cut pretty square. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be there. Um, real fun gun to shoot. Not a lot of recoil. Um, I shot just regular old ball ammo through it. Tennessee reloads. Or Tennessee cartridge ammo, which if you have a choice at the gun range, don't buy that. Take your own fucking bullets. That shit is nasty. It is really it dirty. It dirty the hell out of the gun. And I've had a lot of squib loads. Uh, just every every malfunction you can think of with the Tennessee reloads. I don't know what the fuck their problem is, but their ammo sucks. But they got a good deal with the ranges, so why the hell not? Um, what else? That's about it, dude. Pretty normal. Oh, wait. Let me compare this. You wait. Oh, oh no. <clears throat> Here we have... Old birthday present from the old lady. Best old ladies by your boyfriend in 1911. Mm -hmm. This is a full-size Remington R1. This has probably been, for the money, my favorite 1911 out of the box. I left this one, the guts on it, completely, just left it completely factory. Haven't touched it. All I do is shoot it and clean it. I hit ringers with this, no problem at 100 yards. Usually 5 out of 8, 4 out of 8, somewhere in there. It's straight shooting, solid, fast check. Fast uh, follow-up shots, because it's a full size. It's a single stack. Now the Remington mags come with um, eight round, or seven rounds, not eight round mags. Um, I haven't had, I've bought the cheap 10 rounds. I've bought, I've got a whole bunch of Wilson 10 rounds and then standard eight rounds pro mags. Haven't had any problems there. Um, it has not had any trouble feeding all the hollow points. It loves golden sabers like they all do. Um, but it, let's see, no, actually, this is the 1911. I don't have any, any real, any real concerns about, I did change the surface of this. Anyway, I did change the surface of this one, but I will have this to compare the size. Let's get the white wall in there. If we line these up in the camera, you can see the size of this gun compared to the full size is significant. Of course, if you have two eyes, 
and they work, you can see that this is a smaller gun. I just wanted to show you a little comparison. This is a little three inch barrel. Uh, the mags hold, by the way, the mags hold uh, 10 in this. You can get extended mags. I don't see the point if you need more ammo than that. You don't know how to shoot or you got into something where you should have brought a bigger gun. Just uh, the triggers, once you get this broken in, is wonderful. I cannot talk about this damn gun enough. I've used it in previous videos. It is just everything you want it to be. Uh, the grips that come on them are for shit, of course, just like all the, all the other grips out there. Go with a set of Packmeyer's, wrap around, give you some damn control over that thing. This is for the money. You cannot beat this gun. I've got several that is best, best bang for your buck. Back to this one. I, with all the videos I've seen on it, I can't make any complaints on it. Um, it takes down, takes down nicely. Had a little issue trying to, you know, because it's not a bushing barrel. It gave me a little issue just, you know, had to look at it, think about it, how to take that damn thing down. But if you're used to bushing barrels, it's just, uh, there you go. That'll throw you for a little loop because the recoil system is one, two, three, four, five pieces. But it functions flawlessly. It likes round nose. I haven't put any hollow points in it through it yet. I got a video coming up. Uh, put about 100 rounds downrange at different uh, different distances. That indoor range is on Lamar here in Memphis, right down the street from FedEx, the big FedEx hub. It's a great little range, just go in, buy 50 rounds, 500 rounds, and pop them off right quick. Um, I shot that at just the lines. I don't know the fucking distances. It's close, further, furthest. Mmm. Judge your own distance. I don't fucking know. Um, but it grouped well. Shoots a little low and to the left, but up close. Yeah, within 10 feet, the bullets go where you want them to. I am, uh... I got this from... Ellis over at Double Barrel and had it transferred to Tennessee. Uh, Double Barrel is probably my favorite gun shop to buy anything at, period. I've been to all the other gun shops. Um, Ellis is the easiest to deal with. Is you know I lay away everything because I'm a cheap bastard. I don't like to spend too much money at one time. I lay away everything. Yep. Ellis is the best to deal with, best prices, best customer service. I've taken him. He's the one who sold me the Century Catamount, uh, the Catamount Fury, that we had a previous video on that was a giant fucking turd. Um, he did everything he could, and yeah, I was more than happy. It wasn't his problem. He wasn't the manufacturer of the gun, but he did everything. He offered to do everything possible to make that right. Even though it was a piece of shit and it wasn't his fault. He's a good guy. Go see him if you're ever in Olive Branch. Uh, Mississippi. He's a good guy. Anyways. Coming up next is a shooting video at different ranges. There was not a uh, malfunction of any damn kind. Pistol shot a little low and to the left. Um, I wish I had a damn better camera. But that's what we got. Let's go shoot it.